गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड द मल्टीफेस फ्लो और ट्यूबिंग फ्लो और ट्यूबिंग परफॉर्मेंस रिलेशनशिप एंड इन दिस इन दिस ऑफ दिस वीक लेक्चर आई हैव कवर्ड सिंगल फेस फ्लो इमल्शन फ्लो ना टू डाइल ट्राई टू कवर मल्टीफेस फ्लो मल्टीफेस फ्लो इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज सिंगल फेज वैन यू आर हैंडलिंग दिस इज वेरी इजी टू हैंडल बिकॉज द फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स इक्वेशंस और मैथमेटिकल को रिलेशंस आर वेरी सिंपल but when you are having multiple phases for example gas solid liquid so in that case your simple correlations will not work so you have to go through special correlations and this multi phase flow affects the artificial lifting performance why it is affecting for example let's say certain amount of gas you have in oil so that gas will be entering into your saccharide pump or in electric submersible pump or in uh, progressive cavity pump so that that gas will be interfering the pump performance and the uh, multi phase flow the scientist who are studying multi phase flow for normal air water multi phase flow and the scientists were discussing about multi phase flow in the well bore so both are different so in oil well bore what is happening when you handle multi phase multiple phases because of this formation volume factor reservoir solution gas oil ratio glr so there as the pressure or temperature changes your gas oil ratio changes from subsurface uh, to the surface how it is working let's say one reservoir is here and i have one well bore well bore is cemented okay then i have perforated here this is cemented now i have one tubing to be going to the reservoir and then this is well head from well head you are getting your production so it will go to separator this is well head now what is happening you see reservoir pressure pr p w f s sand phase completion pressure and there is one pressure called p w f or flowing pressure now you can remember this phase diagram critical point you have seen uh, this is dew point line this is called a uh, bubble point line and in between there is two phase flow two phase flow Uh, two phase fluid or uh, flow will be there dew point here is gas dry gas or dry gas again i already told in another lecture that dry gas does not mean this water is involved dry gas implies this there is no liquid actually and this is liquid phase okay now if you this is temperature this is pressure so in a certain condition if you fix temperature and if you reduce pressure so your fluid property will change based on this phase diagram how it is changing for example let's say a b c d some sections i create and first one a let's say this is my phase diagram t this is p initial fluid is here fluid is here at a that means that is completely single phase fluid there is no gas okay if some gas is there it is already is dissolved in liquid so in that case you are getting single phase liquid flow so oil and gas mixture the single phase entering into well bore and because of this reservoir and pwf flowing pressure difference the or drawdown difference <coughs> your fluid entered into well bore and is single phase now it reaches to point b so in point b let's say uh so at point b what will happen t p again and point b is here point b is here maybe on the uh, bubble point line so if point b is on the bubble point line that means still it is single phase but gas bubble may start if you reduce pressure further okay so initially pressure was here p1 maybe this one uh, p2 p1 greater than p2 okay so from a 
to it reach to B. So, still there is single phase flow okay, up to this level. Now, we are moving from B to C. Okay, again T, P, again you draw this curve A, B, C, A, B, C. Now, C you can see it is in the two phase region. So, two phase region means certain amount of gas will be evolving from the liquid or single phase flow to multi phase flow. It will create multi phase flow because gas is coming out from the liquid, right. So, then you will get bubbles. So, from B up to B, A to B, there is no bubbles actually, single phase. From B to C, you are getting certain amount of bubble, okay. Now, C to D, you are reaching. So, you are getting more bubbles. So, bubble will be more bubble, it will be colliding and it will create bigger uh, bubbles, air, uh, not air, it is uh, natural gas, natural gas bubbles or low uh, short chain hydrocarbons will be creating more bubbles, okay. And after certain time, if your gas is moving up further, further and pressure is going up, uh, going down, here PWF is uh, higher and PW H, well head, well head pressure is lower, reservoir pressure is very high, then P W F or flowing pressure is lower, then fluid is moving up, 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 it, when it is reaching to well head, pressure will be further lower. That means, a pressure gradient is created, here is lower pressure, at bottom is higher pressure. So, higher pressure, certain amount of gas will be dissolved in fluid, when fluid is moving up, up, pressure is going down pressure is going down that means certain amount of gas will be coming out from the liquid. So, gas coming out liquid again further pressure up more gas coming out. So, when you are reaching to the top you are getting more gas. So, after certain time it will create annular flow. Annular flow means the liquid will be soaking the wall or wetting the wall and gas will be creating one channel at the center. Okay. So, that it will create one annular space for gas. Okay. Again, if gas is increasing, the velocity increasing farther, those wall soaking fluid will be creating lots of small, small bubbles. Okay. So, fluid bubbles will be created. Initially, there was gas bubbles when it reached from B to C, gas bubble was created, C to D, gas bubble further created, when D to maybe E, you created annular flow. When E to F or well head you are reaching, so that time you are getting mist flow. So, liquid particle it is getting separated and it is mixing with uh, gas. Okay. So, that will be creating mixed um, mist flow, not mixed. So, that way from reservoir to the well, well head your fluid is changing. But when you are think, thinking about water and gas mixture, normal piping applications. So, that fluid property may be different, but when you are talking about well bore application, the fluid will be different because it is having different RS formation volume factor and um, solution gas oil ratio. That is why this multiphase is a little bit different than normal air water uh, multiphase flow because it is having different viscosity, it is having water oil mixture, sometimes it will have sand also when it is having sand, water, oil, gas, it is having four, three phases and water, oil, sing, sing, uh, all the single phase, but multiple component, same uh, phase, but different immiscible fluids. So, this is creating a very complex flow phenomena in the well board. Now, whenever we are talking about artificial lift and multiphase flow, we see sucker rod pump, ESP, electric submersible pump, we see PCP, we see jet pump, we see uh, gas lift and there may be some other sub uh, division of these pumps. So, sucker pump actually reciprocating pump you have seen in the well bore uh, in many uh, well field applications that picture will be common like one uh, rod will be there and one beam will be there like this and this is horse head and well bore it will go ok. So, this is called sucker rod pump or beam pump and ESP electric submersible pump 
इलेक्ट्रिक सबमर्सर पम्प इज एक्चुअली बेसिकली सेंटिफिकल पम्प पी सी पी मीस प्रोग्रेसिव कैविटी पम्प जेट पम्प मीस एक्चुअली यू क्रिएट हाई वेलोसिटी जेट एंड दैट विल बी सकिंग वेल बोर लो प्रेशर फ्लूड एंड गैस लिप्ट इन दैट केस यू इंजेक्ट गैस फ्रॉम द सर्विस वन इज दैट हाइड्रोलिक जेट पम्प हाइड्रोलिक इंजिन पम्प इंजिन ओके सो इफ सकर पम्प इज पम्पिंग and if you have gas so the gas will be blocking the flow area so that will create one uh, fluid pound problem fluid pound or uh, it will create gas lock if it is uh, interfered by gas if it is esp so gas will be creating vibration cavitation vibration cavitation okay uh, or maybe it will be seize, uh, seizing complete flow so flow will not be there because of gas is coming out coming into uh, the pcp uh, electric submersible system in progressive cavity pump or a positive displacement pump in pcp certain amount of gas it can handle but if you have higher amount of gas the gas will be compressed and that high temperature will create problem in the elastomeric stator so pcp also will have a high temperature high temp temperature and a performance drop and gas lip system in gas lip system actually in well bore you inject gas you create multi phase flow okay so you create multi phase flow create in gas slip system you create multi phase flow and fluid will be moving up to the surface so that uh, intentionally you creating multi phase flow that is helping you but that there are also certain criteria when i'll be teaching the gas slip system we'll tell in details in hydraulic engine pump there also if gas is there gas interference like sucker or pump is having problem like fluid pound and gas lock the similar sort of problem also can come in hydraulic engine pump but if you're using jet pump so jet pump certain amount of gas it can handle but very high amount of gas also will be creating problem so in cer in uh, in certain cases for artificial lifting application you use gas separator or there will be certain techniques to avoid gas and to produce uh, well from well bore without uh, or mi with minimal uh, interference of gas okay flow regime so flow regime or in multi phase system what happens when you have vertical well bore or you have first you see uh, vertical well bore okay or vertical pipe you can say so initially fluid velocity lower so air and water mixture you are mov uh, moving up from well bore to the surface right so when very small amount of liquid uh, gas bubbles are there so the gas bubble in liquid will create small small bubbles okay those are called bubble flow or bubbly flow okay and if you are increasing amount of gas then gas particle will be colliding each other it will create bigger particle so that will be causing a slug flow so slug flow will be causing uh, it will be like this so it will particle will be bigger because lots of small small particle are there and some particle collided each other like say one particle is there one particle is here two particle colliding make bigger particle again some other bigger particle is there so all together slowly num amount of gas particle more gas void or that space is more so that will be colliding each other it will make bigger particle okay so that bigger particle will be moving with liquid but the 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 bubble flow will change to slug flow this is called slug flow okay now if you have increased gas flow further so the slug or bubbles will be colliding and it will be breaking also it will create very unstable uh, bubbles okay so this is called churn flow this is called churn flow so the uniform slugs now broken and particle becoming more random motion so 
liquid particle will be moving up and down. So, randomness will be coming more in the system. So, that is called churn flow, C H U R N churn flow. Now, if we have increased gas further, so what will happen? You increase gas further, so it will create annular flow. What happens? This is liquid is soaking the wall of tubing or pipe for vertical pipe. This is for vertical pipe. Okay, for vertical pipes, and gas will create this inner core. Okay, so this is liquid, this is gas, and here also this is liquid and this and bubbles are gas bubbles. Okay, this is liquid and these bubbles are gas bubbles, gas bubbles, liquid is continuous, N U O U S, continuous phase uh, where uh, the gas bubbles are discrete phase. Now this become gas bubbles become bigger in slug flow, in churn flow also these are also again gas and continuous phase still liquid, but if you see if you increase so, fluid velocity, gas velocity increase or volume of gas is increasing okay, gradually. So, in that case, gas will create center core and liquid will be soaking the wall. Okay. When soaking liquid, soaking the wall, where gas is not soaking at center core. Okay. So, if your gas velocity is very high, it will create a center core. So, when center core is created, so liquid can slide down also and if you have increased gas velocity farther, so what will happen? Okay. So, gas velocity increase further or the amount of gas increase further then, so gas is going, gas is continuous phase can t n n u o u s phase and liquid liquid particle will create a small small particle so this is called mist flow so it will create mist so why i am teaching this one for artificial lifting system so whenever you are working for gas lift system so in that case your target should be create bubble flow bubble flow will give, give you more efficiency for gas lift system. But if you are creating churn or annular flow, in that case actually you are injecting very high amount of gas, but your production rate will be going down. Again, in mist flow, in gas well, if you are creating mist flow, then very good actually because your gas velocity is very high and whatever liquid is deposited or liquid is there in the well board, that liquid will also go with the gas. So, you do not need any extra pumping mechanism. So, your target should be creating mist flow in gas wells. But if you are gas velocity very a uh, little bit lower then it can create annual flow so that annual flow will give you liquid held up i'll explain later what is liquid held up okay so it is having different application for different uh, pumping or uh, artificial lifting mechanism uh, and if you have bubbly flow or other type of any other flow for example centrifugal pump is there small amount for bubble flow is okay but if you are having slug flow or churn flow or other type of flow so higher amount of gas is coming so centrifugal pump will get uh, lots of resistance or hindrance because of this uh, gas volume. Centrifugal pump normally designed for liquid handling, not for gas handling. Centrifugal pump or sucker out pump or jet pump or all other artificial lifting system are designed for liquid handling basically and, except gas lift. In gas lift, you inject gas like say liquid column is there, inject gas, you create small small bubble, you create bubble flow. Okay, So, that bubble flow will create Taylor bubble or slug flow. Uh, so, you, you try to avoid creating slug flow, uh, you keep uh, in the bubbly flow region in gas lift system, so you will get more production. Uh, sometime back we did some experiment on bubble flow, like if you, you have created already slug flow or churn flow because of the certain velocity change in fluid or air or water. So, in that case what we did, we created one system like this. If you change suddenly the piping dimension, this or 
this. So in that case, the slugs will be broken. Okay, slugs will be broken. It will create bubble flow. Okay, so that experiment we have done with uh, Abu Dhabi Petroleum Institute, but uh, I think we wrote one paper also for that one. Okay, flow regimes for horizontal pipe. Now assume you have horizontal pipe like this. Okay. So initially you have very low amount, low flow velocities there, liquid velocity low and gas velocity also low. In that case, what will happen in horizontal pipe, you will create two layers. One will be liquid layer, one will be gas layer. Okay, this is called stratified flow. stratified flow actually you are getting two distinct flow uh, layer one will be liquid heavier or denser fluid will be the bottom and upper portion will have gas okay so this is called stratified flow in that case flow velocity low they are getting sufficient amount of time to settle liquid uh, you can remember the send settlement or particle settlement formula their vt or terminal velocity terminal velocity if you are having giving larger time so particle will be settling quickly actually so in that case because flow velocity low it is not creating very much high turbulence so that particle liquid particle settling at the bottom and gas particle is moving up you are getting two separate uh, flow zone now next is you increase little bit flow velocity gas velocity increased so what will happen you are creating wavy flow okay so here again liquid and gas is here so because gas is trying to pass through over the liquid so what is happening it will try to fetch the liquid surface so it will create small small ripples so ripple will grow so it will create wave like you see a wave in the ocean so that way it will create wave on the liquid surface so it's called wave wavy flow okay now you increase velocity further so if you increase velocity further then what will happen so gas is here gas is here and gas bubble also will be getting entrant and so this is called slug flow so gas slugs will be created okay so gas slugs are being created and liquid is also touching the upper surface so that way gas and liquid will be moving together their velocity may be different but they will be moving together and next is annular flow now you increase uh, air velocity or gas velocity further so in that case what will happen so liquid will be soaking the wall and gas will be moving through the center core this is called annular flow Okay, so in vertical pipe also you have seen annular flow when gas velocity very high. Here also is the same thing happening, gas velocity very high. In that case, liquid will be soaking the upper wall, lower wall, and gas will be creating its own path at the center. Okay, now next is bubbly flow. Now you increase further gas velocity. So what will happen in the case liquid particle will create small small particle liquid so this is a liquid this is gas okay so you are getting very small small uh, liquid particle so okay so this also you are creating mist flow and if you have liquid particle small small liquid uh, gas particle If you have small small gas particle in liquid, so this will be created bubble flow. Okay, this is for horizontal pipe. Now you see in uh, vertical pipe, this strati stratified flow is not there because two layer you are not creating actually because it's narrow. Generally. Again, this flow regimes are dependent uh, dependent on the piping dimension, friction, and fluid property also. So if you see the papers uh, many scientists they have tested for like say 5.1 centimeter diameter 3 centimeter diameter different diameter and they found different flow regimes in wellbore 
maybe single fluorizime may be there, multiple fluorizime there, or maybe some fluorizime may not be there. So, but these are the basic idea of fluorizime uh, in horizontal pipe, vertical pipe. You have low flow velocity, gas, liquid. So, in that case, you get a steady dry flow. You increase very high flow velocity. So, in that case, you can get mist flow. And if you have low amount of uh, gas, high amount of liquid, so you can get bubbly flow. So, in in in, in vertical well. You have seen very small amount of gas you are creating bubbly flow and very high amount of gas you are getting mist flow. So, this sort of phase may be possible, but all well bore may not have may not be showing all these properties. So, uh, I will delete this vertical one, I will write two part will be vertical horizontal. Okay. So, flow regime in the tubing, if I have vertical and horizontal and if I have different flow velocities, gas flow velocity and liquid flow velocity, it will be approximately look like this. Superficial gas velocity, superficial, this is log log, log graph. This is superficial velocity, this is superficial liquid gas and liquid. So, in that case you get stratified flow like this, this is stratified flow region, stratified flow region. Now, if you have little bit higher flow velocity then you get wave then again if you have more liquid flow velocity then you get plug flow actually plug flow will be created and if you have further increased fluid velocity liquid velocity then it can create slug velocity and if you have further liquid increased liquid in case gas is lower so in that case you can get bubble flow a bubbly flow and if you have increased further this wave is there then uh, okay this is mist very high gas velocity liquid velocity low but if you have very higher amount of liquid also so in that case you get annular flow Okay. This is one approximate curve. If you change piping dimension and other properties, then this curve will be little bit different, but shape will be almost similar. For example, at lower velocity for both gas and liquid, you are getting stratified flow and you are increasing little bit gas velocity, you are getting wave, you are getting increasing further, you can get mist and if you are get increasing uh, superficial liquid, then in that case annular flow can come. If you move further up, then it will be bubbly flow. Now, you see the vertical well bore. In vertical well bore, again, you draw this same figure like this. Again, superficial gas velocity, velocity gas, velocity superficial. I will uh, explain what is superficial later. Superficial liquid superficial velocity, superficial velocity. So, in that case uh, at low velocity, this is a bubble flow. What is happening? Gas is, amount, gas amount is low, but liquid uh, velocity, liquid amount of liquid is higher. So, in that case you get bubble flow and dispersed bubble here. Dispersed bubble, this is annular mist. Mist flow, this is slug or churn flow. This is actually annular flow like this, vertical well bore. Okay. So, gas is here, liquid is soaking, liquid soaking the wall.
soaking the wall and here annular flow again in annular flow it is like this okay now you see it's too distinct vertical of is there something or something if you have inclined then the fluid behavior will be mixed of something mixed of these two vertical and horizontal since if very much horizontal then maybe it will follow horizontal flow behavior or very much vertical vertical flow behavior again it depends on many factors this is just general concept to give idea how this flow regime changes if you have changed fluid liquid velocity or gas velocity